Today's video is brought to you in collaboration with Backswing.com, a golf publication offering insight from top pros for the game of golf. Visit Backswing.com today to help fix your game. Hi there and welcome back. My name is Richard Rice. I'm a PGA golf professional. Today I'm going to answer a fun question coming to us from Backswing.com. And that question is, what is tempo? Is it important? And how do I practice it? So number one, I am not here to convince you that tempo is important. Hopefully by clicking on this video, you understand that it is. Tempo is basically just telling us the pace, it's describing the pace at which we swing the club back and through. Now that is far different from club head speed. Um, here's a great example. You have a Hall of Famer, Freddie Couples, who had a very, very casual, slow tempo to his golf swing was also known as a bomber in his day. He was a long hitter of the golf ball. Now think of current world number one, John Rahm, also a bomber of the ball, has a very, very quick back and through tempo. Both players produced very high club head speeds at very different tempos. And hopefully you'll understand by the end of this video that our goal is to find the tempo that works best for you. All right, so let's work on that here today. What I'm gonna do is give you some practice drills and I'm also going to unveil a, a cool training aid that I think would help you out. Okay, before we get started, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that little bell for notifications so you can see more great videos just like this one. All right, so practice drill number one, one of my favorite drills here. It's a great way to also warm up when you first start for the day. So we're gonna do a little tempo drill and what we do, is we're starting we're going to have some slower swing speed along with some slower tempo so we're going to start at about a 10 percent tempo swing now i'm going to start this by taking my normal tempo golf swing and i'm going to cut that to about 10 percent so that's going to look like this Right, so I'm still going to accelerate the club through the hit. I'm just really slowing down the swing. So I recommend you start this drill on a tee. This is a pretty tough one at first. So we're gonna tee this ball up just to make it a little bit easier. So all I have to focus on is tempo here. So 10% tempo. Awesome, really good. So the idea here is you're going to hit two balls at each tempo speed. Again, we're starting at 10%. After two golf balls, I'm going to ramp it up another 10%. So I'm going to 20% tempo speed for two golf balls. And I'm going to work my way all the way up to 100%. Now, for sake of time, I'm not going to do that here in this video. But I think one of the cool things that comes out of this, this drill is that a lot of people begin to realize that they hit the ball much better at a tempo that is a little bit slower than what they perceive their full tempo to be. So for me, when I hang around that 70 to 80% range, I feel like I'm swinging my tempo at 70, 80%. Now I'm not saying club head speed. My club head is, is still moving quickly through the hit, but if I feel like my tempo is 78%, 70 to 80% of its normal value here, I feel like I personally get the best results and, and I, I find lots of players that tend to feel the same way like, hey coach, I'm, I'm hitting it much better at 50-60% tempo, is that normal? And I'm like, well yeah, you're, you're hitting the ball the same distance still, you haven't lost any club head speed, but now you're giving your body and your brain time to gather the club and sling it through with less effort. So yeah, you probably feel like you're putting less effort into the swing and all of a sudden you're hitting it just as far, it's gonna be easier on your body. But lo and behold, your, your scores are gonna come down because you're gonna be more consistent. All right, so tempo can also refer to the transition, you know, the speed of the transition from the backswing to the downswing. And inevitably, I'm gonna come across players that tend to rush the transition. In other words, they get it up to the top and they snatch that club back down towards the golf ball. All right, so if this sounds like you, this simple drill could really help you out. So it's not, a, it's not a very fun one per se, but it helps us just take a moment and gather that club at the top rather than snatch it back down. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take that club up to the top. We're gonna count to three once we get to the top, and then we'll go ahead and hit the ball after we count to three. So it's gonna look like this. So 
One, two, three. Okay. What that does is, is give your brain the idea that it's okay for us to take a little bit of time here at the top. And actually what you're gonna find is, is that gives you more time to gather with your body, use the ground, use your body rotation, and we're gonna start hitting the ball farther once again with less effort, right? If you're snatching that club in transition, we're putting lots of effort into it, and it's probably not fruitful too often. So try this drill, I really think it would help you out. All right, so here it is, a new training aid I just came across. Um, this training aid to me was designed originally to help people who struggle with tempo issues. But I think it does much more than that. I think it helps players who struggle with open face. I think it helps the average player feel what it actually feels like to load the club shaft. You know, I think the tour players are, are really good at loading the club shaft and unloading it at the right time. And this, this aid here really helps the average player do that. But today we're gonna focus on its use for tempo. And what I have in my hands here is called the Lag Shot Golf Golf Club. So this is a seven iron. They also make a driver and a wedge. Um, this seven iron has, has been a game changer already for a couple of people. I've only had it for, for a week or two now. And I think it could do the same for you. So this basically, is a very flimsy club, right? The club shaft can bend very easily. So what's that gonna do for me? Well, simply, if I start snatching this club around, it's gonna feel really wobbly, and it basically forces me into good tempo. The best part about it is I can actually hit golf balls using this training aid. So I've put this into a, a, a few people's hands, They've actually, you know, it's, it's been very eye-opening to them the difference that this club makes in their striking. So what we're going to do here, and what I would have you do, I, I have self-dubbed it the Lag Shot Challenge. Hopefully Lag Shot Golf is okay with that, but the Lag Shot Challenge here. So again, we're going we're gonna to start with it on a tee, especially if you haven't used this before. The lag shot challenge, what we're gonna do is hit five balls off of one foot, five balls with our feet together, and then we're gonna hit five balls full swing, and then we're gonna pick up our own club and run through that gamut again. So I'll just do one ball of each just to show you. So one ball foot together here, or excuse me, one ball on one foot here with the idea that we're gonna have that nice, smooth tempo, about 80%. Awesome. Man, I love this thing. So really awesome feel. I can feel that shaft flexing throughout the swing and it forces my brain to kind of slow down and make sure that I'm swinging in tempo. All right, so continuing on, the lag shot challenge. This is where you'd hit five shots with your feet together. So I'm thinking of that 80% tempo here still. And I actually felt myself get quick on that one, so it's instant feedback. And you can see that I left that ball out to the right as a result. One more swing with the lag shot here. We're gonna go regular width stance. Hopefully feel that 80% tempo. Hopefully get this one started more online. So again, right after that, what we would do is switch back to your own golf club. You're gonna run through that one more time. Five shots from one foot, five shots with your feet together, five shots full width stance. And, and what you're gonna notice is after swinging that training aid, your golf club's gonna feel a little bit different in your hands, and that's a good thing. And I just couldn't hit a ball much better than that, so. I really think you should try out this training aid. I don't endorse training aids too often. There's, there's a couple that I stick to and really like. This is, this is a new one. This will be staying on my lesson tee. All right, so if you'd like to get a lag shot club of your own, click the link right here in this video's description. You will get 15% off of your purchase. 
So go on out there and, and get a lag shot club of your own. If not, make sure you work on these tempo drills. I can't stress enough. Tempo is important. It's very important. Again, tempo does not mean I'm swinging the club slower, right? A slower tempo, I could still have fast club head speed. So work on that tempo. Find the tempo that's right for you. I guarantee it's going to help you out. Enjoy that tip, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.